right. Question upstairs. Hi. Um, can we expect a rematch between Carwin and Lesnar in uh, 2011? Between uh, Carwin and Lesnar? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. You know, we'll see what happens. Brock's been hunting since his last fight, and he and I haven't talked at all. So when he gets back, we're going to figure out what's next for him. And uh, Shane Carwin just had surgery. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Listen, there's a lot of interesting fights in the heavyweight division. We'll see what happens. Thank you. But I would have to imagine, yes, those two will probably fight again. Thank you. Hi, hi Dana. My name is Andrew Silveraja. It's an honor to meet you. You too. Thank I have, you. I have uh, two questions. Would you consider, uh, like, if Strike Force were to uh, talk to you, would you consider Strike Force champs versus UFC champs? No. You would never? No. Well, why is that? Well, I'm sitting here saying that I think that yeah. there's, first of all, to, again, anybody who wants to disagree with me here today, feel free to step up and disagree. I, I'd love to debate with you guys and talk about it. Let, let's work this thing out, okay? These guys can't get their own guys to fight. They're completely disorganized. Their, their, their divisions aren't even deep enough, you know? Uh, and the level of uh, the quality of fights that are going on there aren't at the same level. Why would I? Why would I have one of these guys come in? And, why, and what is Strike Force? They put on these events. They did the Ultimate Fighter finale. Did over two million viewers. They did less than three hundred thousand viewers for that fight. You know, it just it, it makes no sense. And, and if uh, Paul Daly were to become champ at 170, would you consider him ever, ever? Ever. He'll never come back ever. Ever. For the guy who booed. Let me tell you what, guy who booed. Uh, we were just talking about sportsmanship and the sport. And listen, there's lots of things. I've been in situations before where we've been up there at the weigh-ins. Guys push each other. Guys are getting in each other's faces. All this stuff. There's this, the, the, you know, there's this stuff that's built up before a thing. Guys never put their hands on each other. You know, they don't punch each other or hit each other before the fights, okay? Now, you go in there and you hate a guy, you don't like him, whatever the bad blood is. You have 15 minutes. The punch, kick, knee, elbow, slam, try to submit, do whatever you want to do to this guy, okay? Never, ever is it acceptable to punch a guy in the face after the fight. It's cowardice, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it, to me, it's absolutely disgusting. It's, it, you're a thug, okay? And, and you know, th there's been instances where I've said, this guy's never coming back, and, you know, he comes back, and, you know, we start talking, and, you know, I end up letting him back. I'm telling you right now, Paul Daly will never, ever be back in the UFC, ever. He's still pissed. I have, uh, <laughs> I have one more request. I know Wanderlei was supposed to fight early 2011. Is it possible you can get Wanderlei to fight on the Toronto card? Well, that is a possibility. Now, that is a possibility that he could be in Toronto. Listen, I'm not kidding, man. Everybody, everybody knows how big it is in Toronto and, and, and in Canada as a whole. And, and, and I, I was just saying, and I'm not kissing your ass, I'm being honest. Um, I love Toronto, man. I love coming here. I love the hotels. Look at this place. There's nothing like this unless it's like a sports book in Las Vegas. This is a sports bar. This place is incredible. This place is beautiful. There's so many cool things to do. The people here are awesome, except the guy that booed. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I actually enjoy the media here. I have a good time in Toronto. I love it here, and all the other guys feel the same way. This, every fighter on the UFC roster is going to want to fight in Toronto, believe me. Thank you, Thank you very much, man. Cool. Before the next question, I should, should mention that speaking of um, all the fighters from Canada wanting to be on the Toronto card, we've got two great fighters uh, that are setting up for an autograph session after here. Sam, Stav Sam, where are you, Sam? Hands are still stuck.